Megalodontia, informally known as Joe thanks to an auto-translate mistake, is the newest and third King Salmonid added to Splatoon 3's next wave. And with the current upward trend of King Salmon at HP, I'm a bit afraid of how bulky number 4 might be. Anyways, if you try to take on Joe by only shooting at his body, you stand no chance at winning. I mean, you can barely clear the Koozuna that way, and this guy has twice the HP. The good news is that Joe here has a blatantly obvious weak point. Some call it a pimple, I will call it a sensor since it kinda looks like a little orb that moths use, and because this thing is so much more sensitive to attacks. The bad news is that there isn't much information on Joe, so to find out how much more damage we do by attacking the sensor, I had to resort to some unconventional methods. Watch out gamers! I've committed a science. Well, it's more of a math this time. So I popped open Photoshop, traced over the little damage bar from one golden egg to its weak point, and then used that to get a rough estimate. To win against Joe, you just need to hit his weak point with about 44 golden eggs. Now for reference, it would take 81 golden eggs to the rest of his body in order to win. So even though these are rough estimates, I would say that the sensor takes double damage. Now how do you actually hit this thing's weak point? The little sensor thing is on Joe's back, and after each each attack, Joe will hang out above ground for roughly 6 seconds, then he dips below ground for 3 seconds and readies up his next attack. And then he attacks and repeats the process. The whole attack cycle takes about 9.5 seconds, so Joe will attempt to munch on your crew a grand total of 10 times. This also means that his body is only exposed to attacks for a full minute. On top of the super huge HP bar, this boss is invincible for 40% of the wave, so you really need to go for that sensor as back, it's not a joke, go pop the pimple. The nice thing about Joe is that you can predict which way he'll be facing even before he attacks. That's because he will swim towards his target to attack with his back and weak point facing the direction he came from. At the start of the wave, his back will always face towards the shore where all of the other bosses spawn from, and after that his back will face the location of his previous attack. Use this information to try and position Joe so that it's easy to spam golden eggs at him right after he attacks. The other good thing about Joe's attacks is that it will destroy the other bosses. This He's got friendly fire turned on, as long as they're within that circle of attack. So for example this steel wheel, the, the damageable part of the wheel was not in the circle so it's fine, but if it was he'd be dead. So if you've got a target on you, try to go towards a boss heavy area for some free golden eggs. The little target will follow you around for 5 seconds, which can feel pretty intimidating, but it's not really doing anything other than putting pressure on you. Use that time to approach those pesky bosses like a Jojo protagonist. Oh. Then once the target has locked onto you, Joe is below ground and is going to attack you in exactly 2 seconds. But this is actually plenty of time to just get away, as long as you have enough ink. And I would advise you to swim in the direction of Joe's previous location, so you can give him a nice little pat on the back for helping you maw through a bunch of bosses. Of course this doesn't mean that your teammates should be slacking off either, since half the battle in these extra waves is keeping the team alive. Out of the 10 times I faced Joe, I did not get splatted by him once. However, it was an even 50-50 split between getting splatted by lessers or bosses. So just like with the other King Salmonids, you should have at least one teammate taking out those distant static bosses and another to keep an eye out for the lessers. This is a DBS check after all and by getting splatted you're missing out on a full cycle of attack. So do your best to stay alive and keep your teammates alive. This is especially true if you happen to be on a high tide. Because let's be honest, Joe Mama so fat, it takes up half the map. I couldn't resist, I'm sorry. If you have any other tips for Joe, leave them down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this guide and would like to see more of my Splatoon related guides, click on this playlist or check out the Kohozuna guide for a more of a deep dive on how you get all the scales and that type of stuff. Either way, I hope you guys found this useful, thank you for watching, and happy salmon running!